Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else. This is I'm Trying to Love Math, Out of This World Math Facts, by Bethany Barton. What do we got here? We've got a triangle. You've got a spaceship, or a UFO maybe, an alien. A pie. <gasps> pie day is coming up on March the 14th. Mathematics is, in a sense, is logic. Let loose in the field of imagination, Margaret Wortham. I'm trying to love math. So I used to be a math teacher, and I still teach math sometimes. If you ask me, math is not very lovable. Math, arithmetic, lots more math, more math, math homework. I know I'm not alone here either. Four in 10 of Americans hate math. That's true, maybe it's more than that. I think maybe it's part of the other 60% may have been lying. That's like 40%, boo, math, yay, math. Did you just use math to explain how much you don't like it? Yay. Yep. In the comments, I want you to write, do you love math or do you hate math? A space alien? What do you know about math? Well, math is understood all over the earth, no matter what language people speak. Five plus 12 equals 17. And we know 17 is what kind of number? Is it a prime number? Yes, it's, it's a prime number. Except you're not far from Earth. Nope. Thankfully, scientists sent math out to space. Scientists took examples of life on Earth, things like language, music, and math, and put them in, onto golden records. So this is the golden records. And I believe this is going to be on, I believe it's it's going to be on a Voyager, on the Voyager uh, spacecraft. So there's Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Voyager 1 is outside of the solar system. The golden records went on space probes they sent into deep space for curious aliens like me to find. They sent you math? No wonder aliens don't come visit. They should have sent cookies. What are cookies? I'll make you some. They're so much better than math. Let's see. I just need two and a half cups of flour, three-fourths cups of sugar, three-fourths cup of brown sugar, and a cup of butter. Mm hmm. Looks like I need two of these to equal a cup. Wait. Baking is just a bunch of math, isn't it? Whoa. In fact... This whole, this whole recipe is basically a word problem. You've got fractions, conversions, temperature, time, and chocolate. But isn't that a good thing? Without those measurements and fractions, what would you end up with? A burnt pile of mush. I guess you have a point. Okay, you see this math problem here? 785 times 5. I'm going to try to love it. Maybe if I start at, at maybe if I stare at it and think about cookies. 785 times 5. Nope, I'm already bored. What if I jazz it up with some extra numbers and add some some of these symbols? Ooh, you got a right triangle there. 9 over 100 equals 9 hundredths. You've got pi right there, one fourth. You've got a array. Whoops, you got a little carried away. This is a way to, this is way too much math. Can we shake the book and make some numbers fall out? Ooh, just hold it tight and give it a few shakes. Okay, 
Yeah, the, the page is clear now. Math is just so boring. It's not like you can dance to it. Actually, you can. Music has a lot of math in it. So this is gonna be the time signature here, four, four time. Note the value of each beat. Tells you how many beats in a bar. You've got the quarter note equals one fourth of a note or one beat. And again, this is gonna be, this is a whole note and that equals four beats. Pythagoras, he was an ancient Greek smart dude. In fact, it was a mathematician who discovered that different lengths of string produced different musical sounds. Hi, my name is Pythagoras. Because of his math, you're able to make the, the guitars you have today. Now this is gonna be, I believe this is a bass guitar, but you also have an acoustic guitar. And how many, this is gonna be a six string guitar here. One, two, three, four. yeah, this is a six string uh, gu guitar. Well, no thanks for ruining music for me. Now all I hear is are numbers. I think you're missing the point. Math isn't all about numbers. Arithmetic, another word for, for math is numbers, is super helpful. $3 plus $2.05, but it's only one part of math. So $3 plus 205 is gonna be, what is that, 505? And you've got $5 and five pennies right there. Correct change. My very first job that I had I had to do 10 transactions like this without using a computer. Math is also about exploring, about finding new ways to get places and helping you find your way back. For centuries, sailors navigated using stars, special measuring tools, and lots of math. So you've got the, a, a ship here, You've got a chronometer and a sextant, um, and we would use those things to travel across the oceans. You've got the, the lines of latitude, the lines of longitude um, on, this, on this globe right here. I also used to teach history and geography. Modern explorers calculate how much force and fuel is needed to get a rocket past your atmosphere and out into space. Take that, gravity. And this is a NASA space shuttle that's out of commission now. Speaking of exploring, you've barely checked out Earth. We have lots of beautiful things to see. We've got symmetry where two or more uh, parts match each, each other. You've got uh, a fractals, a special pattern made up of a smaller copies of itself. Math is, he is here in nature too. You've got the golden ratio. Math is about finding shapes and patterns. Oh no, you don't. You're making it all about math again, but it's my turn to teach you something. Introducing Earth's greatest invention, pizza, pepperoni and mushroom pizza. It looks like, that does look interesting. How big is that thing? Oh, that's easy. It's, um, what? How do you measure this thing? I know. And the answer is easy as pi. Pi represents a number. It's a super long number, so you usually shorten it to 3.14. This is pi. This is not pi. That looks like a cherry pie there. It's sort of a cheat code to figure out the size of a circle. So you've got your diameter, you've got your circumference. It's sort of a cheat code to figure out the size of a circle. Pi times your diameter equals circumference. Pi is also what, what's called an irrational number, which means it goes on forever and never repeats. Like this, 3.14159265358979, and it just keeps on going. Well, that was unexpected. I never thought I'd say this, but this is too much pie for me. That's an easy fix. Let's just grab the book and shake all this pie off the page. Ooh. 
Whew, that's better. I'll admit some of this math stuff is cool. I'm okay with that. But math can still be pretty frustrating. Like how there's only one right answer? That's true. But it also makes math so helpful. Math gives us a set of rules everyone can agree on. So we know how to travel to get to places. 10 miles. Look at that. We got a little ice cream cone there, some mountains. How fast we're moving on our way. Five miles per hour and equals 10 miles in two hours. And how much things cost when we get there. So we're going from the house to the ice cream place. We got 450 for uh, the ice cream sundae here and $2 for the single scoop ice cream cone here was, is gonna equal to 650. Well, I'm ready to test that out. You know math is a part of so many things I already love. I guess I don't need to try to love it all. It turns out I already do. Ooh, and everyone's got some ice cream. Oh, and there's and there's big big like five gallon or ten gallon containers of, of ice cream back here. One half off of pies, 50% sale. Ooh. Nice. Oh, they got sprinkles on the uh, on the ice cream and a, and a cherry on top. Nice. Oh, you got pizza. A large is 14, medium is 12.50, small is about 10. Ice cream, one scoop is $2. Two scoops is going to be $3 and a sundae is 4.50. A pie, one slice is 3.50, a half a pie is $7. A whole pie is $12. Mmm, what would you like to eat? What would you like to eat, boys and girls? I want all three. I want a I want a slice of pizza, I want a sundae, and I want a whole pie for myself. Great. You love math? My work here is done. Time to head home. Thanks for your help. Where did you say you're from anyway? Planet Homework. Yikes! Do not worry about your difficulties and mathematics. I can assure you, mine are still greater, Albert Einstein. And here's the author, Bethany Barton. Bethany Barton. All right, you guys. Hey, if you enjoyed this book, if you enjoyed this book, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Please comment. Please share this with your friends. Share this, this, share this video on, on Facebook and, and any other social media. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.